Hi. Do you believe in miracles? I do. In fact, I'm living proof, and I would like to share my story. It was about two and a half years ago, I think, when I went to the eye doctor for what was supposed to be a routine eye exam. And while I was there, I commented that, you know, I think my glasses prescription isn't quite right. Things seem a little bit blurry, and I'm having trouble reading sometimes, especially at night. So they, they did, they completed the exam, and when it was over, they said, no, your, your prescription's absolutely fine. And maybe you're suffering a little bit from some dry eyes and um, go get some ointment. So I did, but a couple months later, it was still really bothering me. Things seemed blurry, and especially after I ran or worked out. So I called the eye doctor again and said, you know, I'd like to come back in. And it was on that second visit that I got some pretty tough news. I was diagnosed with a disease of the cornea called Fuchs dystrophy. And here's what that is. On the back of your cornea, you have a thin layer of cells whose job it is to wick moisture out of the cornea. And in the case of Fuchs dystrophy, what happens is that that cell layer starts to die off and those cells do not regenerate. So once they stop working, the cornea begins to swell and it gets cloudy. And as the disease progresses, some blisters start to develop on the cornea and they're really painful. Um, sort of like, have you ever had some sand in your eye? That's, that's kind of what it feels like. The good news for me though, is that I was referred to a cornea specialist and learned that I was a candidate for a cornea transplant. So as I describe that procedure for you, you will understand why I refer to this as a miracle. The first part of the procedure is I had to go in a few days before surgery, and this was two years ago on, on my right eye. I had to go in a few days before surgery to get a hole punched in my eye. That sounds horrific. Um, it really wasn't that bad, it was uncomfortable. Uh, they use a laser to punch this hole and it kind of feels like getting popped by a rubber band. But then they use that hole that they create during the surgery. So the day of the surgery, turns out I was awake for the procedure. They numbed my eye and then uh, gave me some happy juice so that I was relaxed during the procedure, thank goodness. And then this is, this is how they did it. They lifted up my cornea and scraped the cells, the damaged cells from the back of my cornea. Then they took a donor cornea and gently, I presume, removed the healthy cell layer from the back of the donor cornea. Then they used the hole that they put in my eye to push some air through and create a bubble, an air bubble. And they took this graft of healthy cells and they floated it over that air bubble, trying to get it centered over my pupil and um, centered in my cornea. Uh, with the hope that it would attach and start to work. And you know, things went great on that first surgery, but at some point during the critical first 24 hours, the graft slipped a little bit and began to attach in a position that was not ideal. And um, the prognosis for my vision at that point was not good. So a week later, the doctor went back in and he was successfully able to detach the new cells, reposition them, again using that air bubble, and this time it, it worked. They were positioned correctly, they attached and began to work. And now it's two years later and I have 20-30 vision in my right eye, which is amazing, right? Um, but in the meantime, I still had the disease in my left eye. And as, as my left eye began to deteriorate, along about May, I think it was, of this year, I started getting the blisters on my left eye and they got progressively worse as the summer went along. So I had a second cornea transplant, this time on my left eye. It's only been two weeks ago. And this one went amazingly well right from the beginning. They were able to center the graft, it attached, and by my 24-hour check, it was already working to clear the vision in my left eye. And I am so grateful, I am so blessed. 
And I hope that by sharing this story with you, it will maybe give you a moment to reflect and look around you at all the miracles that surround you every day. Obviously, in my case, I'm talking about the miracle of modern medicine and human ingenuity, but also about the gift of sight, the beauty of nature, the joy of a smile, and the, the kindness and generosity of, of, of people. In my case, two people, two strangers, whose selfless act allowed me to restore my vision and, and not have pain. So thank, thank you for listening. If you're not currently signed up to be an organ donor, I hope maybe this video inspires you to, to consider signing up. In the meantime, I wish for you a miraculous minute. Go out there and have an awesome day and live an extraordinary life. Thank you.